Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Urvashi and in today's video I am going to talk about a new animation tool that I have been using for quite few days. Actually I have been learning animation for few days uh, by myself. I am not taking any course or any classes. So I am going to uh, share all the knowledge that I am gaining along the way so that I will create more content, more useful content for you on YouTube because I have been very inactive for quite a few weeks. So yeah, today I am going to explain you uh, that animation tool, the interface of that and I am going to create a very simple animation on that so that you will understand how you can create yours. So without any further delay, let's get started. So this is the interface of face animation tool so if you see it is very similar to figma and uh, there is not much difference in figma and face in terms of interface and look so here you will see all the options that you see on figma as well and if i click on the screen you will see in the right panel the width and height and overflow and fills it is very similar okay so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a shape before that, I am going to just change the color of the screen. Okay, because I am creating toggle switch right now. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am going to create a rectangle shape. Now I will just align this in the center and will change the corner radius to 100. Okay, now if you see, you will see all the details that you see on Figma as well, like rotation, corner radius, width and height, position, and transform. I'm not going here for now. Then you will see the opacity, fills, borders, and effects. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an oval shape, and for that, I'm going to hold the shift key so that it will be created perfectly like that. Now I will just change the color of this to white and I will just align this properly within this rectangle. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to contain these two shapes within one container or I would say I will just group these shapes into one. So for that, I, I will just uh, select this and select the container and or I will just do one thing. I will just right click on these layers and select container selection. So uh, that way it will be grouped together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on this animate and uh, you will see the animation timeline here. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the oval shape and head over to the right panel and we'll see, you will see this uh, position X and position Y. And if you hover on these uh, two, you will see this keyframe indicator. So what you have to do is you have to just click on this so that uh, this, uh, this will be our starting point. Okay, like that. Then I will just click on the rotation one and uh, this rotation will be our starting point and i will do one more thing here i will just uh, change the color of this to blue color to indicate the selected toggle switch like that okay now this has this is uh, created now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, click on the 0 0.5 and it will be uh, here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the rotation to 180 degrees like that and i will move this uh, circle to the left okay like that then i will uh, select the one and it will be you know appear here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these two came two frames then i will just select this one so when you hover on these key frames and right click on it you will see these options so i will just select the duplicate to current time okay this has been duplicated 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and uh, change the rotation of this to 360 degrees. I want this uh, circle to rotate from left to right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the circle to the left again. Okay. So you will see the key keyframe are being created. Okay. Like that. Yes, you will see this. Now you have to do only one thing here. On 0 0.5, it, it will show the disabled button. So I will just change the fill of the rectangle to something gray. Okay. Like that. And I will just copy this uh, hex code. Okay. Now if you see on 1, it is disabled. Okay. And you will see on 1.5, it is showing disabled. So I have to change this to green, sorry, blue color. That was on the starting point. So, so that we can indicate the selected button. I hope you are getting what I am trying to say here. If you have done animation before, you will understand. Okay, so like that. So it has created for me the simple animation of toggle switch. If you play this, you will see this. There is some issue here on point one, it is showing blue color. So for that, I will just change the color of that one to this one. On this, on this time only, I will change the color. Okay. Now if you play this, you will see the smooth animation of toggle switch from disabled to enabled. Okay. Like that. So it is very easy. You just have to, you know, play around with keyframes, colors and position. It is that easy. And if you don't want your uh, circle to be rotating from left to right, you can just uh, unselect the rotation. Because if you just select this one over shape, you will see it is uh, getting rotated like, like a ball. So it's up to you. Uh, like how you want to, you know, create the toggle switch or any animation on this face. Uh, tool. So you can try that. I will just link, uh, I will give you the link of this uh, tool in the description below so that you can try that as well. And it, uh, it also has this, uh, you know, uh, Figma uh, plugin. From there, you can just export your animation uh, layer or if you want to animate something uh, on Figma and you want to use face in that, then you can just export that file to face directly by using that plugin. It is very easy. So I will just create one more video on this. I will create a more complex animation on this. Again, this was just a introductory uh, video for this tool so that you can understand how you can use face for your animations. It is very easy like Lottie files. Lottie files is a bit more complex for me. So that's why I'm using face. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn. Link is in the description. And I will see you all hopefully in my next video. Bye-bye.